I'm standing here in front of Ronan Gillespie's monument, Footsteps, in Hobart, in Tasmania. And this part of the island here would have been where the convicts would have first come in 1803. And 13,000 of them arrived between 1803 and 1853 onto this area here, which was then called Hunter Island. Now, Ronan, through his depiction of the women has shown us what it was like for the women that arrived here. The first woman that he shows in the statue is a young healthy woman. She would have done best here in the colonies. They would have been marched up to the Cascades female factory but if she was lucky she might have been put out for um, unpaid labour. Some mistress of a middle class house that picked her to do the constant work of cleaning um, minding children and feeding and the next woman though is a woman with worry and grief because she is an older woman and she would have done a little bit worse here in the colonies because just think if a household can get somebody for free a young girl why would they be her who was so much older the next lady and woman in the depicted in the statues is a woman with a baby in her arms now, she might have been momentarily relieved to step out here onto Hunter Island into a new life in Van Diemen's land, but she would have soon realized that her baby would have to be taken from her and weaned at six months regardless, and she would have been sent off to work as well somewhere, maybe never seeing her baby. Maybe she would have met somebody and he would have taken care of them. Then they would all have been, you know, together as a family again and the little boy at the back he depicts all the orphans that came out here now they also were in prison in a way and that they were put into the orphan school when they arrived two-thirds of those children never got out here to the colonies if you were a child of a convict you may never have got here but if you did get here like this little boy then your life was in the convict school until you were 10 12 and then you were sent off to work However, maybe your mother would come back for you and you would have a family life here. So it was very precarious life for all of the people that stepped off onto this island back in the 1800s.